All right, what's going on, everybody? And welcome back to another Real Talk video. May the Most High bless you. I pray everybody's been having a wonderful, blessed weekend as we thank our Heavenly Father for so much. Now my title says, what do I think about cloning? Uh, let me give a shout out to Sister Helen, 22. Um, very um, powerful email and powerful question about does the Bible even talk about cloning and um, what's my little take on cloning? Um, it's no secret what's been going on, my sister, um, once again, and, and powerful email. It's not what we know that hurt us, it's what we don't know. And uh, when you start talking about cloning in that email, it made me think about the fallen angels. Because I've been talking about that a lot lately, on and off camera, um, about the mixing of DNA and how they cloning animals, been doing it, and now you see how everybody that's around her is not human. And I have a lot of people disagree with me when I say that because they haven't studied the beginning. And you know, it's kind of hard for you to understand where we at now if you haven't understand or understood, I should say, what went on in the beginning and what's to come. Um, because back in Noah's day, um, when you start talking about those fallen angels or the book of Enoch called them the watchers, and you look at how um, they messed around with the animals even. They were sleeping with the daughters of men, you know, took it into marriage with them, and then they started corrupting, you know, the animals. Um, and what, what, what Yahshua said that sticks out so powerful is that he said that it was going to happen again, you know, before the return, that it would be just like the days of Noah. So this is why we see all this demonic activity going on. So um, you asked me about cloning. Um, here's a big problem that I see that a lot of people do. They'll tell each other that life does not begin at conception. Now, I highly disagree with that. I, I wouldn't dare say that life, you know, does not begin at conception because life does. And so many people I see, they argue and... and and fight about that and then you look at abortion well when you look at DNA and then you look at embryo cells it, it, I mean it goes hand in hand it's, it's a mess what we see going on right now but to, to the ones that think that life does not begin at conception that's your belief you know they have to remove the DNA now when you think about Nowadays, like I was saying about these animals, they are now mixing a horse, blindfolding them, with having sex with a donkey. You see how they putting a dog with a, a, a wolf or any kind of other animal. Now they mixing so much, you know, because it's so far wicked now. The land is so far wicked, y'all. It's, it's, it's a crying shame. But when you look at an embryo, well, let's, let's, let's get a good definition of that first. Uh, look at that, organ, that organism when it's in the early stages of development. Now, there is no way that it can survive on its own. You know? So the definition itself, it, it varies according to how a lot of people may use it, you know, in, in, in the sentence that they're using it and the way they're explaining it. But in humans, for an example, that, that fertilized egg can be considered the embryo until around what about the eighth week of pregnancy then they call it what the fetus then you see the embryos in animals which which indicate any pre-birth stage of de uh, development so that's including those in the womb or the eggs now with that being said y'all know where I'm going with this y'all heard me say this scriptures, these scriptures, I don't know how many times on this page. I'm going back to Genesis 1 and verses 26 and 27. Y'all hear me say this all the time, so let me say it again. Then God said, the Most High said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. So, then we saw where we had Dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds. I mean, the livestock, 
He put Adam in charge of everything. Every little creeping thing that creep, creep, or crept on the earth. So the Most High once again created man in his own image. The image of the Most High he created male and female. So by Satan knowing that, Satan always have been trying to mess up the bloodline, the image. His job is to kill, steal, and destroy. But the way Satan moves is so beautiful, so slick. Through technology, any forms of communication. That's why a lot of people are so caught on guard, caught off guard, excuse me, because they thinking that it's one thing when it's another. So since Satan cannot create, he do what? He's a copycat. He copies. So when they are cloning, look at this. They got to use the human embryos. Some call it embryo. How you want to pronounce it? Embryos, embryo. But, but look at what they doing once again with abortion and how they selling these babies parts. It's sad, y'all. They have made a killing. I'm just trying to tie all this in together. I said this earlier that a lot of people don't believe that life begins at conception. Well, check this out. Psalms 139 verses 13 through 16 teaches us something different. I don't know if y'all can hear all this noise in the background because it's a, we in the middle of a storm right now. I just say it like that. And I, I'm just enjoying the weather still and then thanking the most time for so much, but I don't know if y'all can hear all this noise in the background That's why I want to and I've been having problems with this, with these loading up these videos and I hope I hope I got it right with the volume on this one. So please let me know if the volume is loud on her because y'all know they don't want me on her no more anyway. Well I had to say that, but Psalms 139 verses 13 through 16 says that for thou hast possessed my reins. Thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. My substance was not hid from thee when I was made in secret, and curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Thine eyes did see my substance, yet being unperfect, and in thy book all my members were written which in countenance were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. In other words, I believe this was King David. Meaning that I was known by the most time before I was born. Look at what he said. He said, in his mother's womb. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Isaiah. Same thing. So the Most High already knew what we was going to be doing, who we were, before we was born. That's awesome. Prophet Isaiah said in chapter 49, verses 1 through 5, uh, uh, when you look at Isaiah, he speaks. He speaks of the Most High calling him into the ministry as a prophet while he was still in his mother's womb. See, let's look at this. The Most High created us. So that means I am a soul. You are a soul. Who else can create a soul? Last time I checked, I am the creator of all is the creator. Nobody can create like the Most High. Once again, Satan is a copycat. He imitates. Now, Genesis 2 and 7 told us that the Most High formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils, our nostrils, the breath of life. And that's when it said we became a living soul. Satan can't do that. So, my sister Helen, when you are trying to clone, then you are trying to play like you are God in so many ways, like the Most High. 
they even got things going on where they are trying to trying to make you live longer. Everything that the Most High have, they got something that they try to copy it with. See, all of this go in because when you start talking about it, all goes together. When you start talking about the image, the Most High's likeness, that goes so deep. Because half of us walking around here don't even know who we are and what we are doing. Because if we did, we wouldn't be fighting each other so much. We wouldn't be getting into it so much with all this jealousy, this envy, this hatred. I mean, if we really understood these scriptures that we claim that we're studying so much, we would not only look like our father, we would be acting like our father. You wouldn't be trying to get cloned, nor want somebody to be cloned, nor would you be trying to look like the image of somebody else. I, I just messed up a whole lot of people. I know, especially ladies. I love you, but I'm just teaching her, telling you the truth. If we knew who we was, then we wouldn't be acting and doing what the world does. You wouldn't need all this. You need to buy this wig and look like this person. You don't need this makeup to try to make yourself look like what you are already want you are already wonderfully made. See the image it goes a long way. The most high once again breathe into our nostrils life and we became a living a living soul. Why do you think demons search for a body to get into? They look for that. That's why they hop off in this one, then they hop off into that one. So, people who are cloning, really, what are they trying to create? Now, Psalms 100, verse 3 says, Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that had made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. See, the way the Most High designed, the way we supposed to come in here, is through husband and wife. I'm trying to wrap this video up now. He didn't need to clone nobody. Cloning is of the devil. The Most High made husband, wife. He made penis. He created vagina. Penis goes in vagina. Not penis with penis. Penis and butt with man with man, not woman with woman. That's why they want to clone because they still trying to figure out a way two women can have a baby. Since they done legalized everything anyway. And if you just happen to be a homosexual and a lesbian looking at this video, I love you. I'm just telling you the truth. You can get mad, get mad at the word. I embrace the sinner but not the sin. You, you got to look at this. The way this world has turned out to be, this is Satan's world anyway, everything that the Most High said, don't do, they are doing it now and legalizing it. What our Father has created, the devil is so busy trying to change it up. Now, you see men getting their penis removed, their balls removed, to change into a woman. You see a woman taking off her body parts to be a man now. With all this technology, it's being done. You see some crazy things. That's why these scientists and whoever are trying so much to keep cloning people. The reason for cloning include a way for the lesbians and the homosexuals to repro reproduce. I told y'all, gay is the new world order. Some kind of way, they are trying to figure this thing out. How to, how to continue to go past the original way of Yahweh. When you look at the female egg, the process of cloning, y'all, you got to take the female egg and remove the female chromosomes from it. And then you replace them with the complete set of chromosomes from the human being who is being cloned. The egg is then placed into the womb of a woman to try to grow up. 
But as soon as the chromosomes are placed in the egg, a new human is conceived. That's what human reproduction is. The formation of fertilizing egg cells. Cloning, once again, is a part of the New World Order. Y'all remember when Nicodemus asked Yahshua, how can a man enter the womb again? When you start talking about birth, you got water and you got spirit. And if that's why I don't, me personally, y'all, I don't say born again. I say born from above. Born from above. If you haven't been spiritually born, I'm not talking about coming out of your mama. That's what you in when you're in the stomach, you're in the water. You, we already know. But that was not what Yahshua was talking about. He was talking about being born from the spirit. Nicodemus should have known that. Smart as he was. But, not to jump off into all that. So, sister, to wrap this video up, um, cloning goes against the creation of the Most High. Anytime you see all this mixing, this imitating, trying to make a better way, trying a new way, a new something, a new world order. The old, what happened to the old world order? That's my time. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day. Much love.